Lincoln College, with more than 15,000 students, is a large general further education college. In 2011, it was deemed to be outstanding by Ofsted inspectors. Moving up from good to outstanding took three years, but it was the culmination of a long and painstaking journey. The college's senior management team now share the lessons they've learnt with other college leaders. If you wanted to write down things that have been truly effective in this college, the first one is you need to make sure that people take ownership and that's about responsibility. That ownership is also linked to self-reliance. People need to feel that they can get on with things and they are self-reliant. Uh, not many adults necessarily need the managers and other people on their shoulder all the time, so to tap in them and to left a bit, right a bit, left a bit. Very annoying to be avoided. All right, thank you. It's not going on. Right. Do I need the ignition key? No. Why not? Because it's a uh, constant... Constant yeah. live. A key to transforming the college has been to change the culture, to make it a can-do place where staff feel empowered. The college has always had fantastic staff. I think we've always had really, really high achieving students, but I think what we've done over the last sort of four to five years is empowered the staff. I think we've supported them, and I think we've taken them through a real cultural change. It's about believing in the staff that we have. It's about taking their ideas and sort of supporting them with the ideas that they have and challenging the concept of there is no wrong answer. At least 50% of the time when people come to me, if I don't agree with them, they still get what they want. Because they've got to give everybody opportunity to make some mistakes. People do like a challenge. They will work hard if you show confidence in them. And if, when they make a mistake, you don't jump on top of their shoulders and press them into the ground. Right, everybody, thanks. Let's start. Uh, the senior management team has set a clear vision to which all staff are asked to contribute. Our emerging strategy for dealing with schools, which we called feeder schools, um, how to collaborate or how to face more competition. Beth, can you update us on that? We've got a cinema campaign so what we're doing is we're having a mobile billboard that is going to be travelling round Lincoln for a week um, and we're selecting 10 of our compete schools, the ones who don't really want to work with us. We're also looking at our learner numbers compared to the underlying population um, and we'll also map basically our market share so we'll be able to see where learners are going elsewhere. It's a place that does challenge you. It's a place that does listen to you, and that's one of the things that we work very hard on, is engaging everybody in that process of improvement. It's not just been senior managers sitting around in a room making some decisions and then imposing them on people. We genuinely want to listen to everybody else because collectively we can be far more creative, far more innovative, and find the answers that we need to move ourselves forward. The real journey started with self-analysis about what we are good at and what we are not so good at. When you do that assessment, you begin to realise that your quality processes maybe are not giving you the significant benefits that you expect. This college was under benchmark on every success rate. You can get those skin types in two facials, yeah. right? So you need to find someone who's got oily skin that you can use steam on, and that will could be a fourth of right. Thank you. Thank you. The college's own assessment prioritised teaching as an area for improvement, and significant resources were devoted to this. We spent a lot of time working with teachers, getting the message over that it's about the students doing all of the work in the classroom. The teacher's job is to prepare well, to create activities that allow the students to make judgments for themselves in terms of how well they're doing and to provide constructive feedback. What would happen if you, what would happen if you took that centre one off? It's going to be quiet. It, the spring would be um, decompressed, wouldn't it? Well done. All right, carry on. The college devised a two-stage strategy of intervention to improve courses which were underperforming. At quite a senior level, we look at the, the documentation behind the course, we look at recruitment on the course, we speak to learners, we speak to the staff, we visit lessons and we pull it all together. 
and we try to do the best that we can to do this in a combined and supportive way to then pass back to the team and say these are the things that we think you should change or you should look at further to bring about your own improvement. One side up, yeah. a bit more right than me. Yeah. And then the other side up, a bit more right than the other side. Improvement is not just about achieving a cultural change but it also involves taking the small steps, spotting problems, and instigating solutions straight away. One of the big issues that I think a lot of centres have, and a lot of colleges certainly have, is they get trapped in their future plan. Where am I aiming for? It's over there. And they stop making the baby steps that they need to to get there. Very important that you tweak to transform you take those small steps. Take a look at yourselves to decide where you are. Uh, the one thing that I would leave you with is act now.